a bad one, I am a queen Ain't no lame niggas messing with me Cause I'm a bad one, yeah Cause I'm a bad one Hello my Briakins Let's finish grocery shopping Um, I don't know if you can hear me because I have this earbud on And I couldn't find my case to disconnect it So it's just hopefully you can hear me but i just left stop and shop and why are these like chicken nuggets chicken wings i haven't tried this yet but they're so good i just have some chicken nuggets i just have a nugget i had a mozzarella stick this is the rest of it let me just finish it it's really not that good but i'm eating it so i only got one because i just wanted to taste it wouldn't recommend but these fresh nuggets and these chicken wings i got mild i got honey honey garlic honey something either honey garlic honey butter it's not honey barbecue but it's honey something so i'm guessing honey garlic i got mild and i got spicy i'm not either one yet but i've had them before but so far these nuggets are hitting um I put this bag on today because I just missed it. I miss getting dressed and like putting effort into my outfit and what I look like in the details. Granted, I don't have any like jewelry on because I just went grocery shopping and I didn't really feel like to be that. But I put this wig on. I have like a cute outfit on. Maybe I'll show you later. I'll show you my mirror later. Um, but that instantly just had me started feeling like good like well there's construction over here where i'm at above the highway on like a bridge thing it's been here for like three months and there's been no progress on it i've never seen nobody working on it i would say like four four months now i never seen nobody working on it nothing so one day about a month ago um, I was driving and there was so much traffic and it was really like pissing me off. It, I was I was pissed. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. These Karens and Wolverham and Longmeadow and these other towns call their city hall and get their roads fixed. Get this like they get their shit done in their town. But in the city I'm in, Springfield, I feel like no one does that. Everybody just deals with the, the complaint, but no one does deals like does anything to change it no one calls the mayor and complains no one calls city hall or whatever you're supposed to fucking call to get this shit fixed our roads are trash everything is just dirty it's trash like so i was like you know what fuck it i'm gonna be a karen today so i called city hall they transferred me to like developmental something something i don't know and then that wasn't the right place so they transferred me to another place so the other place it was like um mass dot no it was something and she I left a voicemail she calls me back and she explains oh that's actually like not our department that it has over because it's since it's over the highway it's the state it's not necessarily the city so i'm like okay so she gives me the number to she gives me the number to another thing and transfers me that guy doesn't answer because he's on vacation so i leave another voicemail he calls me back like the next day or two days later and he's like yeah that's not us that's the railroads and i'm like oh no no it's it's him like i called the right department but the construction he has no control over it because it stops because of the railroads because there's a railroad track right near the bridge so i guess whatever they're doing like the railroad system business thing has stopped them from doing the construction i'm sorry for it moving around i have the thing flipped the wrong way and instead of me flipping it the right way so you don't move i'm just dealing with it because i'm gonna have to take the phone out and do it's just gonna be extra so i apologize but it's like i'm sorry but i'm also not sorry because i'm not changing it anyways so i'm like okay so he was like i can give you the number to the railroad and i'm like no i i'm drawing the line at the railroad because i know that's like old money and old system and 
I don't want the mob or nothing to come after me. In the granted, <laughs> I don't know what they can do, but I just feel like I don't want to get on the railroad system's bad side. So I stopped there. At least the complaints are in. And maybe if more people complain, they'll urge the railroad a little bit more. But I just didn't want to be the one. Because I was telling them my name and everything. I'm like, I don't know. I just don't want to be associated with this. So I stopped the complaints right there. But it's a month later and there's still no progress. So what is the railroad doing? Like, what do they have to approve? I don't understand. And if you didn't have that approved, why would you start the construction process shouldn't you have gotten all the permits and the okay for everything before you started they literally just put up barricades and cut off the road to do literally nothing it pisses me off or just like move it over until you get the okay from the railroad like it's inconveniencing all of us and i don't want to deal with it like because on busy days like people cut other people off and it's just frustrating it's very frustrating I don't want to go on a whole nother tangent, but it's just frustrating. But this is a vegetable egg roll. Quick little transition. It's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. It can have a little bit more flavor. But I'm not mad at it. I knew it was going to be okay, so that's why I got two. To be honest. But I'm just grocery shopping for two and a half hours yeah because it's 3 43 i left that one 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 two no two three 43 so two hours and 45 minutes that's how long it took me to grocery shop because walmart was fucking insane like literally excuse my language it was just insane there was no carts. I almost just choked on the egg roll. There was no carts. I mean, there was no carts at Stop and Shop either, which I was very disappointed in. But there were um, baskets. And I only came for, went for a few things, so I got baskets. Um, oh, I can move up. Well, I put the groceries away. There we go. Um, <clears throat> there were no carts. So I literally had to go out to the cart thing and like take my poor Ross wipe and wipe the carts down myself. Granted, they don't even do that in Walmart. But this is a mild. I want to taste the honey one. Mmm. I think it's honey garlic. It's good. Mmm. 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 This is good. The breading on this is like perfect. Anyway. Oh, you could probably hear the shit. I apologize. I'll stop eating in a second. It's too good to put down. It was packed in Walmart. There was a lot of people there. Half of the shelves were like hat and a quarter of the shelves were like bare. Going on the Sunday is tricky. Sometimes it's literally nothing there, or sometimes it's all right. You gotta go on other days, but you know, Sunday's always the day to go grocery shopping, you know? Another thing, I waited in the line for about 30 minutes. And when I was halfway there, I realized I was in a self checkout line. I'm like, I didn't wait this long to check out my own bags and my own stuff, like bag my own shit and check out my own stuff. I didn't wait that long. So. I was upset, but I was already halfway there and had already waited for like 15, 20 minutes. So, you know, probably 20 minutes at that point. So, I just was like, you know what? I'm in the line, whatever. I was watching my football and I waited till my turn. And then I checked myself out. Usually, when I do a self checkout, I won't scan a few things, but the Lord has convicted me. And. I don't do that anymore. I scan everything. I don't skimp. I like if there's three items of one thing, I will scan all three things instead of just like two and leaving one free. So, yeah, it's changed me in that way. 
Thank you, Jesus. But it honestly wasn't that expensive. Then, of course, there was no milk at Walmart. There was no whole milk at all. There was no whole milk, no 2%, and no 1%. They just had 0%. So I went to Stop and Shop, aka this food, and to go get milk. And then I seen cottage cheese, and I've been wanting to try cottage cheese because it's good in protein. So... I got a few things of cottage cheese, even though I'm trying it. But my mom eats it, so if I don't like it, she's going to eat it. And then I got ice cream because I made a uh, cookie pizzuco. What is it called when it's a cookie in a pan? I made it's like puz, 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 Why can I not talk? It's like puzuki, puzuko. It's something like that. Brucky is a uh, cookie and brownie. So something like that. Um, but I made that last night and I've been nibbling on it, but I really want to eat it with ice cream, even though I'm on my healthy thing. I just, that's going to be my cheat meal. I'm, I just, I've been craving that for so long and I finally made it. So I bought the ice cream to eat with it and I just got vanilla beans. So it's like, I can snack on that a little bit and I put like fruit with it. I got apples. I should have got strawberries, but those always go bad too quick. So I didn't get them, but yeah, um, I'm home. So We'll put away the groceries. Maybe I'll do a little haul to show you what I got to be healthy. Yeah. This is a spicy one. It does have a kick to it. And it's super crunchy, which I love. But it's kind of salty. <coughs> it's a little salty. It is, it is spicy. It is. For me, at least. I'm a little wimp a little bit when it comes to spicy stuff. Okay, time for our grocery haul. So the first thing I got is this Twinnings Chai French Vanilla Tea. I really love chai tea and um, I like drinking tea often. So I ran out and I didn't feel like making my own. So we bought that. I got some peach and pineapple chipotle salsa. And I got this because my favorite salsa ever is from Mission Cantina. There's one in Amherst and there's one in East Hampton. But the East Hampton one is called Mission Taco. Don't know why they changed the name. Maybe something happened. I don't know. That's none of my business. But that is a pineapple jalapeno salsa. So I wanted to try this. Hoping it'll be like the same. Or similar. Then I got black bean and corn salsa. Because I love corn in my salsa. And I like black beans. So that together. Good salsa. And is this mild? This is mild, and I hope this is spicy. It's mild. The um one from Michigan Tina has a little kick to it. It's not like spicy, spicy, but it's not just mild. Then I got this Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew Dark Caramel. It's black coffee, but it's sweetened. But I'm probably going to add creamer in it anyways, but I really wanted to try this. This is when I was waiting in the line for 30 minutes. I saw this in the fridge, and it kept staring back at me, so I grabbed it. Then... I got these light Greek vanilla yogurts, just these little ones, um, and I got one strawberry because um, I was going to get the big Greek yogurt, but I got the plain Greek yogurt, and I didn't want to get both because they last me like pretty long, and I didn't want to keep them in the fridge and one of them go bad because I didn't use it up, so if I go through them quickly, I'll just go back to the store and buy a new one or the bigger size but i didn't want to just buy the bigger size off it because i didn't want it to go to waste um next i got this whole grain bread oh no 15 grain bread it has 52 grams of whole grains per two slices and then six grams of protein per slice per slice so i thought that was good the bread i was eating before was this brioche bread by nature's own let's see yeah it's thick sliced brioche style soft and sweet bread um it's not terrible but it's definitely not the best for you so i decided to switch over to a different kind of bread but obviously i'm gonna finish these this one because this is delicious but we're the healthy girl now so we have to get healthy bread okay so in these next clips i feel like i just need to put a disclaimer my mom ended up walking in the kitchen. I don't know why. She just inserted herself in and just randomly started putting groceries away. I didn't ask her to. She just started doing it. And she was asking me a whole bunch of questions and just literally inserting herself in me trying to do this video. So it's a little chaotic. And I literally was just going to cut it off. But then I'm like, 
I there was no clips that I could keep in to actually make a haul and I didn't want to just cut it out because this video is not even that long anyways so this is a disclaimer it is what it is next I always love snacking on cereal or just eating cereal in general like for any meal usually I like frosted flakes or honey nut cheerios but I got special K vanilla almond because it's healthier and it's good you like that kind yeah I, th I thought you liked that kind too. I wasn't gonna get it because it's only the family size and they didn't have the normal size, but I'm like, I think my mom eats this, so I got the family size. Um, you got more ice cream? Just vanilla. Why? Because I wanted vanilla. And I was gonna get those small ones, but then I kept thinking of you and not the small little ones, but the pint of Hagen Dosh because it was three for 10, so I was gonna get one, but I'm like, I kept thinking about when you and Tate were like, that's a waste of money when I got the other ones. Because the th three for ten, so that means one is what <laughs> I can't do the math. Three dollars, around three dollars and some change, and that was three dollars. It was two ninety nine. Oh, blueberry. So, yeah, there was blueberry and dark oh, cherry. Peach. I thought you've had peach before. No. That's why I got peach. No, I got. I had pineapple and strawberry. Oh, I've so they didn't even have those two flavors. They had peach, blueberry. Wait, I didn't I have to do that for my haul. You can put this stuff away. Um. They had salsa. They had peach. I love snacking on chips and salsa. They had peach, uh, blueberry, dark cherry, which I wanted to get, and raspberry, which I wanted to get too. But I'm like, if I don't like these, that's a complete waste of my money. And they were a dollar and thirty nine cents. Where'd you get them from? Stop and shop. Why didn't you get them from? They didn't have them at Walmart. And no, yes, they do. They did not have them at Walmart. That kind. They did not have any. Walmart didn't have any whole milk. That's why I went to Stop and Shop in the first place. There, there was no whole milk. There was no 1%. There was no 2%. All they had was 0% milk. I told you it's Sunday. Peach and pineapple Yeah. These are both salsas? Yes. So then I also got more Ritz crackers. Whole wheat. They're the best Ritz that you can get macro-wise. Oh and then I got... <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, 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 that's for salads and breakfast and stuff. Oh. Yeah, that's not to eat now because they didn't even have any hot ones. That's a cold one. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, the hot one was going to be an hour and 47 minutes. I was like, I'm not coming back and yeah, I'm not yeah. waiting. Walmart. They didn't have any at Walmart. Wow. Yes. Um, the banana nut uh, oatmeal with the protein one. So one bag has 10 grams of protein, which is really good. But that's for my mom. I usually just add my bananas to my oatmeal. Oh, and I got sweetened condensed milk because I want to make pop pineapple up inside, upside down cake. I already have the pineapples. I already have the cherries. And I think there's yellow cake or white cake back there too so I can make it. So I got the sweetened condensed milk for that. I got spring mix um, for salads. And if I don't finish it, just to throw in my smoothies to get it out. I got chips to go with the salsa. Um, I didn't put this up. I, that's not a part of my haul. Oh, that bacon was expensive. Which one? The bacon. Both of them? Yes. Wait, let me get that before you. Then we got this ginger tea. This is... Ginger is just good for you in general. So I try to drink this some mornings. And I add apple cider vinegar to it sometimes. Um, just for the extra healthy stuff. But this tea is bomb. You don't have to add any sugar or anything to it either. But for the chips, I got spicy guacamole tortilla chips, lightly seasoned. And then I got the restaurant style white corn tortilla chips. And I just got the great value ones because one, they were cheaper. And two, I looked at the macros of all other of the tortilla chips and they were literally the same. So why spend more for literally the same thing? Some of them, these were better. So I just got these. Um, then... I wanted to try this roasted vegetable Ritz crackers because the macros on these were, were, well, they were the same as the other ones, but they had higher protein. So granted, it's one gram. The rest had less than one gram anyways, or zero. But they didn't have a smaller box than this, so I hope I like these. If not, I'm going to have to force myself to eat them because I don't want them to go to waste. So we have that. Then here is the plain greek yogurt that i got i like the light and fit one the stop and shop brand one is good too i mean not stop and shop great value so that's walmart brand is good too 
of the plain one the vanilla one that has extra sugar than the light and fit one so if you're gonna do that i would suggest the light and fit but like i said i just got these mini ones for the vanilla one then i got two potatoes so i can like chop them up and eat them with meals i didn't get broccoli i forgot about that i'm gonna have to get green somewhere because i didn't get any greens there's chopped kale but i'm not just eating that but anyways i got two potatoes and two sweet potatoes the sweet potatoes at walmart were terrible and i want and but i went to walmart first and when i went to stop shop they were so much better but i had already got them so i didn't get any more um oh i got eggs a bunch of eggs but 18 plus 18 is 36 yeah um so i got 36 eggs then i got ricotta cheese at walmart this is not ricotta um cottage cheese i almost got ricotta cheese and then i walk kept walking and then i saw the cottage cheese and i was like oh shoot i grabbed the wrong thing so i got the cottage cheese this is just live active two percent milk fat low fat cottage cheese i've never had cottage cheese before i don't know what it tastes like so i hope i like it because it's a good source of protein so hope i like that and then i got this uh peach cottage doubles and i got the peach flavor and the blueberry flavor they also had raspberry and dark cherry which i wanted to try but i again i never had cottage cheese before so i didn't know if i was gonna like it i might have one right now i want to have one right now but i've been snacking a lot i haven't been eating but it is sunday so it's a day of rest so we're not counting the macros today then i got these oats I got the quick one minute oats. I was gonna get the three minute steel cut oats, but I think I'm gonna go through this first and then move to that. Cause the way my mind set it up is that I usually get just by the instant oatmeal, like in the box, the maple brown sugar, but I'm getting this so I can make overnight oats. I can make um, just regular oats and just healthier and just control the sugar and stuff that I'm eating. So I just decided like, let me start with this, get used to doing that. And then I'll go to the steel cut because the steel cut is like more crunchy. I don't know. That's just what my mind told me. Okay. So that's why I got these. And then I am a coffee girl, but creamer has so much sugar in it. And um, that just adds to the calories. So I got sugar free French vanilla creamer. This is literally no sugar. And then it has no protein and one carb so this is the creamer that i usually get it is 35 calories and this is 20 calories and this has zero proteins five carbs five sugars and the same amount of fat so i just got this one and then i got some green peppers to cook in with my eggs with any meals and just to add veggies and greens i got one red pepper because i love red peppers it, they're just like I don't know i just like them and then i got bananas and then i got some honey crisps apples they didn't look good that good at walmart but this bag wasn't too bad and of course i went to stop and shop and they looked better there but i had already got some so i wasn't gonna rebuy some more and did i say i got a gallon of whole milk i like whole milk i like two percent milk one percent milk is okay um almond milk i'm very picky about my nut milks i like my favorite almond milk is t the target brand almond milk but our closest target target is like 25 minutes away um and for oat milk my favorite oat milk is the odaly oat milk because i hate the cream the other kind with the orange i don't hate it but i just don't like it as much so my favorite oat milk is the odaly one but walmart doesn't carry that anymore and i haven't seen it at any other ones granted i didn't even look at stop and shop to see if they had it but whatever so that's why i don't drink almond milk or oat milk so whole milk it is because i still i i love milk i've loved it since i was a kid so yeah then i got this rotisserie chicken when you're trying to like be healthy and eat fit rotisserie chicken will be your best friend because you can use it in so many things you can use the meat for salads you can put it with your eggs for your protein you can cook it in like a whole bunch of different meals and it's already cooked you literally just heat it up on the stove heat it up in the microwave or however you want to heat it up and you're good to go so this rotisserie chicken will literally be your best friend so i got the rotisserie chicken um 
I believe you heard me say that um, I had to get the cold one because the hot ones weren't ready yet. But now that is everything that I got that I'm going to eat. Um, I got other stuff, but that was for my little brother and I'm not going to eat that stuff. It's like mac and cheese and mini raviolis and that good stuff. So that's it. After putting away all the groceries and eating something finally, um, I went to my brother's basketball game. I think this was the first game of the season. I'm not sure, but it's like a rec thing. It wasn't for, he's in eighth grade now, so it wasn't for his middle school or nothing. It was just some town rec league or something. And this was his first time playing. He's the tallest one out there. But yeah, that ends his vlog. Thanks for watching.